My name is Professor Ricky Sharma and I'm a consultant clinical oncologist at UCL. I also work at the Royal Free Hospital and at UCLH. Cancer is a major problem in the UK and in other developed countries. You may or may not be aware that one in two people will develop cancer during their lifetime. So on average that could be a husband or a wife in every couple in the UK. So it's a major problem and it's increasing in incidence. Lung cancer is particularly problematic because we're not doing very well in treating lung cancer. And one of the, the potentially curative treatments for lung cancer is radiotherapy. In some cases it can be as good as surgery. But one of the difficulties in treating lung cancer with radiotherapy is that the target moves with breathing. At the moment we try to track the movement with CT scans but CT scans involve exposure to radiation and it's not always possible to see exactly where the area is, the target is, relative to the normal tissues. So one way that we might be able to do it in the future is with this very novel type of imaging, picking up the light that comes from uh, secondary from the ionizing radiation and then using that to track the target. So this project is about imaging radiotherapy with Cherenkov light. It's a very exciting project because for the first time we would be able to see exactly where the beams of radiotherapy go inside the body by imaging the surface of the body. Now I'd like to hand over to my colleague Professor Adam Gibson. I'm Professor Adam Gibson. I'm in medical physics and biomedical engineering at UCL. My main research is in optical imaging mainly of the brain, but here we're looking at optics applied to radiotherapy, which is, a, which is a different problem and one that not many people have looked at before. So in radiotherapy we shine x-rays at the patient. When the x-rays hit the patient, they ionise the tissue. Ionisation causes electrons to be freed, and these electrons travel faster than the speed of light in the patient. When a charged particle travels faster than the speed of light, it emits visible light. And that visible light we can see with a camera. So if we have a camera looking at where the, radiation, where the X-ray radiation is entering and leaving the patient, we can in principle get a, a visual image showing exactly where that X-ray is entering and leaving the patient. I think the main challenge we're going to try and solve is lung cancer. Because in lung cancer, the tumour moves, and it might move by five or six centimetres. So we need to move our x-ray fields by that amount as we treat the patient during the breathing cycle. But to do that, we need to know where the x-ray fields are entering and leaving the body. And at the moment, there's no real way of doing that. But we hope that by using cameras to look at the Cherenkov imaging emitted as the x-ray field enters and leaves the body, this will provide a way of closing that circle and letting us, letting us track a lung tumour as it moves. This project would be suitable for a student with a physics background who's interested in mathematical modelling and seeing their work go into clinical practice. So ideally we'd have a student who is good at physics and modelling but is also willing to go into our radiotherapy rooms with the staff, collaborate with them and really see this moving into the clinic.